Good morning, Facebook. This is Pam Gaither with the Galesburg Area Chamber of Commerce, and pretty sure you can tell where we are um, and who I'm sitting with. Lon Dunn, Executive Director at the United Way of Knox County. Lon, thank you so much for having us, and I have to say this is probably the best setup that I've ever had an interview with, so um, this is amazing. You clearly have a lot to talk about, the things you have upcoming, but we are here to talk about the business after hours coming up on Tuesday, May 24th from 5 to 7. Um, haven't had one in a couple months, so we're really excited to have um, you host us next week. We'll be here at your site, but let's talk about a couple things that you have coming up, Juan. Sure. So, uh, you know, we are, of course, excited with business after hours, and I also want to give a quick thank you and shout out. Um, I don't know if it is showing in the shot, but a few weeks ago we had our Earth Day Southside cleanup, and we had over 70 volunteers come out and help us uh, clean up the neighborhood around uh, Henderson Street, south of Maine. So it was uh, it was a great turnout, and then now we are coming up on business after hours, and then we are looking forward to next month. We have our annual. 13th annual Lolita Junk uh, Memorial Golf Outing with Dave's Auto Body as our title sponsor for the event. That's awesome. I saw that you had him as a title sponsor. You got a lot of really great support for your event, all of your events, really. Mm -hmm. And like you mentioned, the Southside Task Force, the cleanup effort, that looked like a really great turnout. Um, and do you have anything like that in the future plan too to do more sure. of those things? Mm -hmm. So in August, we will be doing a day of action and that is in support of not only our in-house programs, but that supports our member agencies. So our agencies are all kind of right now out there putting together their work projects that we'll be doing that day. So we will start out with um, a breakfast in the morning and then everybody will either be on a team if you want to do it as a team volunteer opportunity or if you come as an individual we can group you up it's a great networking opportunity and a great way to give back to the community so that you can uh, get out and see the work that not only we do in the community but our agencies um, we know we'll have some work with uh, fish food pantry we'll have some work with the salvation army um, you know, the center for youth and family solutions number of uh, you know just great opportunities depending on your interest if your interest is you know working with children you might want to you know, help out you know we always have projects down at camp big sky to help make sure, sure that it's uh, adaptable and available for uh, you know for everyone um, we also will have uh, something I'm sure with our summer lunch program because yeah you know, we uh, that's just become a, kind of a core of who we are is sure. making sure we're looking out for local families. Absolutely, and that day of giving is a really great way to kind of test some of the nonprofits in the area, you know, kind of step up and give them some assistance, but also see a little bit more what they do, right? Exactly. Yeah, and exactly. how many agencies do you work with? So we currently have uh, 15 partner okay. agencies, and then we have nine in-house programs. Wow. So we have over 1,100 children currently enrolled in the Imagination Library. So they're getting a book a month in the mail from birth to age five so that uh, they, by the time they get to kindergarten, they arrive you know, not only ready and eager to learn, but familiar with, you know, with books and what they can contain and just the positive yes. reinforcement. Yes, yes. My kids have a really great collection from the Imagination Library, so that's really great. You said birth to five. Yes. So anyone with children under five years old, it's a really great opportunity to you know, build your library for your children and it's no charge. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it just, they arrive monthly in your mailbox, which is really cool. Um, you do a lot of really great things, but I think we should probably talk about some of the things we see in front of us here. Sure. Um, first of all, I, I do see a bottle of alcohol, which, you know, <laughs> piques the interest of some folks anyway. Sure, uh, one of the things that we added to the golf outing starting last year, uh, we, we, you could call it a bourbon pole, bourbon draw. Uh, so our attendees have the opportunity to buy a poker hand and we get um, sell as many decks of cards as we have poker or as we have uh, bourbon bottles. Okay. And you build your poker hand, so you can come back through when you uh, once you've played your first nine, you can come back and get a few more cards. Build the best hand that you can, and then we have uh, bourbon donations that range in value from some pretty high dollar bottles down to 
you know, to, uh, some, you know, the normal like Jack or Jim, uh -huh, but, uh, sure. you know, so everybody is a winner though. If you, you know, if you get in the game, you're walking away with a bottle wow. of bourbon. So, wow, um, that's I'm sure pretty popular then. And it's a lot of fun. It was just something that I came yeah. up with and, and the, the players really seemed to like it last year. And then also this year we have a, uh, donated Chicago Bears ball that's autographed and I actually have to look to see who autographed it. Oh, it's a Dick Butkus ball. Nice. So yes, yeah, so we will also have that available uh, as a raffle item for the day of the event. Yeah, I actually so. met him um, at an event when I was at the radio station. So oh, small world, isn't it? Very How nice. How that works out was really yeah. cool. That's a really great item. I mean, this is great. I mean, obviously 13 years you've done this golf outing. You, you know what you're doing. Um, it's a really great way to support the efforts that the United Way, you know, supports in our community. So it's great. I'm sure you have teams available still. We do have teams. You can register through our website, unitedway-knoxcounty.org. Um, and then also a shout out that our golf outing is in, uh, in memory of Lolita Junk. And Lolita Junk was the founder of the Knox County Team Court, but she also was just a force as yes. far as when you talk about strong women who have really uh, left a, a meaningful impact on Knox County. Uh, we're honored that we do this in memory of yes, her. Yes, absolutely, so. absolutely. Yeah. So, um, oh, the other thing I wanted to mention, you talked about the summer lunch program. Mm -hmm. So that's coming up again this year, right? Yes. So the first uh, first week of June we start. So um, I think that's June 6th, and we will be serving through the summer. So wow. our local sites will be in the family public housing communities, sure. um, also at Rotary Park, um, at uh, Knox Park now in Knoxville, sure. and uh, um, Abingdon Rotary Park again, and we're still, we still have a couple other locations sure. pending, so, but we're trying to make sure that we uh, add some fun activities. We're partnering with Discovery Depot this year as far as they're building activity kits for us. Nice. So we will have learning days at each site That's where great. kids can come out and do either an art project or a STEM project, you know, something That's to uh, also, you know, kind of keep the kids engaged. Oh, of course, and so. summertime, you know, no, not in school, you can never, you know, go wrong with having more things to do. Sure. Um, oh, what is what is this behind us? Oh, so of course, Born Learning Trails. Uh, we installed two of those last year, one in Galesburg Rotary Park, and then one here at our location on Monmouth Boulevard. And it's a series of 10 stations that children, um, it's targeted for, you know, toward toddlers who have preschool age, but it talks about um, learning shapes and colors and numbers and letters, all of those okay. little building blocks that get you uh, ready for kindergarten. And so, yeah, Born Learning is actually part of a nationwide initiative of United Way. And so we're thrilled to wow. um, have a sponsorship from the ROE to install four of them in Knox County. Wow. So, uh, the third, uh, we just got approval, so the third Born Learning Trail is going to be installed June 2nd oh, wow. in Knox Park in Knoxville. Wow. So, yeah. Wow. I mean, you yeah. guys are staying so busy, so many things going on at once, it feels like, right? We do. And, you know, I think that was one of the lessons we learned during COVID is just how busy we can be, but mm -hmm. also how much we can improve the community. So Absolutely. it's uh, something we're really passionate about. Well, and that about. impact that you're making is priceless. So, mm -hmm. Lon, thank you for your leadership in our community oh, and, and for the children and, and just all of the agencies you work with, too, because that encompasses so much of our region. Honestly, a lot of the agencies and our nonprofits, they're so important and vital. I honestly had no idea how many nonprofits that Knox County and our region has. And just, just the chamber alone, we have, I mean, what is it, like over... 60 nonprofit members. So mm -hmm. it's it's incredible the amount of nonprofits and the work that they do. So the work you do is so important. Thank you so much for that. And I do want to talk about the business after hours really quick. Of course. So again, it is next Tuesday night from 5 to 7 on May 24th. So give me a little glimpse of maybe what to expect because we haven't sure. really talked about that yet. Okay. So we are uh, thrilled to have Next to the Salt Catering oh, coming yes. out. So LaToya does an amazing job 
and she has put her uh, creativity to work, so it's going to all be golf themed. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so she has come up with our perfect pasta salad. Nice. Um, I'm trying to think, oh, of course, birdies, so we're going to have wings. So, yeah, um, trying to, and yes, I'm totally cheating because, uh, oh, and then she also is going to do a golf course um, replica charcuterie. Oh so, my goodness. Yeah, so I'm really excited to come and see. Oh my gosh. She's one of those uh, folks who realize we eat with our eyes first. Yes. yes. So uh, she really has some great things planned That's for us. Awesome. And then we're also going to kind of travel back to those days we don't often talk about in college. You know, um, we've come up with a putt pong um, <laughs> that we will be unveiling. Oh at my the gosh. Event. So, you know. Wow. Um, something you know just something fun yeah. and you know a few other golf themed games so awesome yeah. well that sounds exciting if if you're a chamber member and you haven't registered yet please get your RS RSVP in because we do need to know how many people to yes. expect to plan for um, for the food and beverages and all the exciting things you have planned so if you haven't registered I'll put the link in the comments below so you can get your RSVP in and I would say um, if you can let us know probably by the end of this week that would probably be best um, just for head count, I'm sure that would be helpful to have that. So I hope you can join us. Um, come out and you know talk to Lon, talk to Haley, um, get to know about a little more about what they do. The golf outing coming up, they have a golf outing um, that supports their mission, and and all the help in our community is obviously very supported. But there's always a need for more. So I think we can all agree that the work done at the United Way is incredible. So. We are excited to be here with you. Thank you so much for hosting and being our sponsor this month. Thank you so and much. And we will see you next Tuesday.